Hey, 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 my YouTube family and friends out there, it's your guy, Investing with Cam. I uh, had one of um, my subscribers, Ryan, uh, ask me to uh, show him a couple of uh, strategies, and I'm going to show him uh, the long strangle uh, option strategy, um, and this is for others as well. Now, this is a strategy I do not recommend to use, um, and which is uh, you know, none of this is truly financial advice, but this is just a strategy that that is very risky to where you could lose a lot of money depending on um, how many contracts that you're selling. But when doing the long strangle strategy, uh, that's a strategy you use if you think that the price could possibly go way down or go way up in a sense, so to speak. So let me just kind of show you real quick um, how to do that. So you want to... Um, you know, either you, I'm going to put it on here starting with buying a call. And, you know, like I say, always when buying a call, you want to buy a call and or sell a call above the uh, strike price. But when buying a call, you know, you want to try to do it as close as you can get to the strike price because you would want for um, the share price of the actual stock that you're using to go above your strike price as well as above your break even point so that you can actually start making money and so I'm going to start with buying a call so I'm going to choose the uh, $5.50 strike price which is the one right above where the share price is and then you want to buy a put and so when buying a put same idea as a call just the opposite in a sense as far as you want the stock price to go down and you want to choose uh, a strike price that's close to where the share price is when buying a put. And so I'm going to buy the $5 put. And so if you see down here at the very bottom, it says long strangle. Okay, so I'm going to click that here. We're going to hit continue. And so let's just say if you're doing one contract, okay, uh, you're buying that one contract, your max cost is $95 with one contract. If you're using AMC and if you were doing it, you know, at this point in time, because, you know, that price or your max cost just depends on the stock that you're using and as well as how the stock is performing at the time. So, but what I really want to show you guys down here at the bottom, as you can see to the left here, the profit that you can receive is unlimited. Okay. Your max loss is $95 and it won't be any more than that. Like I say, if you're only doing this one contract, but what I want to show you here is that, you know, until the price of AMC at this point, the stock that I'm using, goes to six forty five or six dollars and forty five cents or more, you will either break even and you know, after that you'll start seeing profit. Same difference on the put side to where once it hits four dollars and five cents is when you would break even. And then at that point, you would start to make money if it dropped, uh, as far as the price of it dropped below um, that, that $4.05 um, break-even price. But like I say, you know, this can be risky. And, you know, as well, you really have to believe that that stock price is either going to go way up, way up, I'm sorry, and or way down in order for you to start receiving any profit. Because if the price kind of stays flat, you're going to lose that $95, and if it does just slightly go up, you're still going to have some type of loss, and vice versa. If it slightly goes down, you're going to have some type of loss um, in the long run. And when I say risky, you know, some people want to try to make as much money as possible. And let's just say if you did 25 uh, contracts, you know, now your max loss is almost $2,400 to be exact, $2,375. But as you can see, if AMC price was to start going up for whatever reason and going to the moon, you know, you could start making that 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 profit once it hit that uh, break-even point and above, that's when you would start seeing profit. Um, but that's just a quick example on how to, how to um, use the long strangle uh, strategy. And like I said, this is just not a strategy that I probably won't ever use, but I was just doing it to uh, show Ryan 
who asked me to uh, show him this one. He also requested this, uh, you know, straddle um, option strategy as well. And I'm going to, you know, post a video on that as well. But I hope this was helpful to you, Ryan, and to others who would like to learn different um, trading strategies. And please, man, don't hesitate to like and subscribe, share my videos, tell your friends, get them to like and subscribe. And I'll have more coming. And thanks again for tuning in to Investing with Cam.